A 22-year-old man was shot and killed in San Francisco's Ocean View neighborhood almost five years ago. Investigators believe there are many people who might be involved in his death, but the trail has gone cold. In tonight's Fox 2 Unsolved, our crime reporter Henry Lee speaks with the victim's mother, who says she is desperate for answers. It was five years ago this week that Kiran Lamont called his mother while she was in the kitchen. He asked me what I was doing. I told him I was cooking. He said he would be coming over. Uh, my child never made it there. On October 7, 2016, Lamont was shot and killed near Plymouth and Broad in San Francisco's Ocean View neighborhood. A second man was wounded. Lamont was 22 and Picola Jones' only child. And from my understanding, he was hit multiple times with multiple gunshot wounds. He was ambushed. When he was shot, Lamont was checking out an artist painting this mural near a barber shop. Watching this mural is what he was doing in the process. Um, and I believe that they possumed up behind him and took him out. We do know that he was present while the mural was being painted right before the shooting occurred. San Francisco police have followed a number of leads since that fateful day five years ago. But Officer Adam Lopsinger says the trail has gone cold. It was a chaotic scene with suspects and witnesses scattering. People did report uh, uh, multiple people running from the scene, uh, vehicles fleeing the scene following the shooting. Um, so we know that somebody knows something out there, and that's why we need people to come forward. Police say they believe more than one person may be involved. We do believe that there are multiple suspects in this case, but we don't know for sure. Um, we don't have anybody, nobody's come forward yet um, who actually witnessed the shooting. The corner of Plymouth and Broad, no stranger to violence over the years. These surveillance cameras installed after an unrelated homicide, coming too late for Lamont and his mother. Kiran was a loving person. He enjoys sports, he loved fashion, he loved people. Jones says it's unfair that her son's life was cut short too soon. He was a family-oriented person. Kiran had goals. Kiran had dreams. And he was definitely trying to achieve them. Over the years, Jones has stopped by the spot where her son was gunned down. She's been joined by police. Billboards have been put up, but so far there's been no movement. It's painful, but she wants to keep what happened in the public eye. It's a never ending thing and I'm gonna keep fighting until I have justice for my child. She says justice will prevail, perhaps with the help of a financial incentive. A reward for tips has since grown to $100,000. I know somebody out there knows something and my child didn't deserve to, to die the way he did. Besides any arrests, Jones has another wish. I would like Kiran's face to go up on this mural. Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News.